Hello Quirk Stuff, I'm so glad to be back on this channel again. So the theme for this week is like favorite films or kind of just films in general. I'm just going to talk about films that I like, some that are probably dorky and other people probably don't like, um, and yeah, just kind of go from there. Flushed away. So I have mixed reviews about Flushed Away. I saw Flushed Away with my friend Brienne when we were very young. I want to say third grade around that time. And we just went to the theater and saw that. And uh, at the time I thought it was the best movie ever, but now it's kind of turn turned into a meme on Tumblr at some point. I don't know. I have some friends online that make fun of it. And honestly, I don't blame them because look at this. Just look at that guy a mobster frog and it's about this mouse that is very pampered he's a pampered pet his family goes off on a vacation and he's home alone or so he thinks another mouse goes up the pipe of the toilet or something ends up in his house and then ends up flushing that character down the toilet and he meets all these little mice and weird slug characters down in the sewer and it's really weird if you're up for a very strange ridiculous just odd movie then you should check that out <laughs> the next film i want to talk about is phantom of the opera honestly i will always love this movie yes there's certain points where i cringe at it because sometimes the acting isn't the best and the singing isn't the best but i just love this movie i saw it in sixth grade and I just thought it was great. It was honestly, besides Sound of Music, the, the first musical movie thing that I'd ever seen. I just thought it was so great. And I also really love the Victorian era and just past eras like that. So I was like, awesome. And also, uh, I didn't realize it at the time, but I had a crush on Amy Rossum because Amy Rossum is hot as hell. If, oh my god, even now I'm just like, she's hot. <laughs> so... If you guys are a fan of musical stuff, then you should, uh, check it out. Moulin Rouge. I still don't know what to make of that movie, and it's been months since I've watched it. <laughs> it is very strange. The editing is very weird. It, it never really lasts more than 30 seconds on a person's, like, face. Like, it always changes. It's, like, constantly changing. The storyline is very quick, and everything's in your face. It's about, like... A brothel in Victorian or maybe early Edwardian um, age. It's uh, it is sad, but also there's some weird and funny parts, and it's just a strange movie. If you're interested, uh, you should totally check it out. Last movie I want to point out is Frozen. I don't understand why we have it on DVD because no one in our family is particularly crazy about this movie and I really am not. And I will give you just one reason why I'm not crazy about this movie. That guy. I cannot stand him. I do not like him. I think he's annoying as hell. I think they really could have done without him. I have major complaints for this movie. I think Anna really did not need a love interest. I think it should have been more about Anna and Elsa's relationship, like a sisterhood thing. I think it's great that Elsa didn't have a relationship, like she is independent and everything, and I like that. But um, I think it's annoying that Anna had to have one, because there really hasn't been a movie, as far as I know, a Disney movie that has focused pre well, purely on friendship or sister relationships. It's always been about, you know, girl and guy fall in love and everything. And But I am 110% behind the give Elsa a girlfriend thing that's been going on for a few months, or maybe a year. I know people used to think let it go was like symbolism for her, letting it go, like uh, Elsa coming out. I don't think so, just from my standpoint. I think it's just like a catchy song. Um, but in a sequel, if they do give her a girlfriend, like, hey, I'll be behind it. Like, <laughs> I have no complaints. That'd be so cool. Like, maybe she could have fire powers or something. That'd be a really cool dynamic. So yeah, this video is kind of all over the place. Very short. I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's, um, kind of late and I'm wearing this bear sweater. I don't know why I'm pointing that out, because it's actually somewhat cold in Florida right now. It's, I think it has finally reached the 60s at night, so that's just okay with me. Anyways, 
Thank you, Quirk Stuff, so much for having me on this channel again. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate all your guys' videos. You guys are super cool. And I'll be back next week. Bye.